Welcome back. This is another face mask review from a great outdoor gear company. Uh, after I did my la last face mask review, I kind of figured that would be it. Um, I've kind of poked around the internet and I really didn't see any other outdoor gear companies that I wanted to purchase from uh, making face masks. Some of the ones that were making face masks were getting really lousy reviews, so I wasn't even going to bother with them. And on my last face mask review for the Keen face mask, which was one of my favorites so far, uh, someone left a comment saying that their favorite face mask is from a company called Mystery Ranch. Now, if you are a backpacker, outdoors person, you've never heard of Mystery Ranch, please check them out. If you've never heard of them, but you're a little bit older, you definitely know about the guy who started the company. Uh, if you're a little bit older, you're probably very familiar with the backpacking company Dana Designs. Uh, they made backpacks that weren't going to be the lightest backpack, but they were going to be the most comfortable and also durable. And so, uh, I don't know his first name, Mr. Dana, sold the company to a company called K2 and basically went into retirement until his daughter asked him to make her a fanny pack. I think it was a fanny pack. And all of a sudden he realized he still had the juices flowing for some ideas. And he and his daughter decided to start Mystery Ranch Outdoor Gear Mystery Ranch Gear Company. I don't know what the full name of it is. Um, if you are a hunter, you've probably definitely heard of their stuff. They do a lot of uh, stuff for hunters. Um, but if you are just a straight up backpacker or hiker, um, take a look at some of their packs. I really hope one of my goals is to have a Mystery Ranch backpack review up at some point before 2021. Uh, so anyway, he, someone commented and recommended one of the face masks and I decided to check it out. Uh, I was able to find one that they actually had in stock and it was delivered to my house a few days later and I've been testing it out. Now here's what I'm comparing it against. If this is the first video you're watching, I just want to show you what I'm comparing it against. And that is, you know, this is my very first face mask that I got when the pandemic started. Uh, if you're not familiar with this channel, I'm from Connecticut, so we were in the heart of it right away. I'm an hour, uh, hour east of New York City, hour and a little bit more. And so this was just the first face mask I can get my hands on. Uh, the first real face mask I have, and there's a review, a link to this in the description, was from Outdoor Research. I still love this face mask. I don't like it at all for when I have to talk. So if I am in a situation where I'm going to a meeting or I'm going to work, um, this face mask, it just falls right off of my face. When I'm not talking, it's super comfortable. The other face mask, whoops. The other face mask I'm comparing it against is, um, oh my gosh, I forgot the name of it. Uh, Hyperlight Gear, no. Hyperlite Mountain Gear Company uh, face mask. And uh, this was my least favorite face mask. Um, I didn't find it to be all that comfortable and fit me very well. This is my wife's favorite face mask. Uh, the other face mask that I'm comparing against is the Keen face mask, which I have none left. Um, my daughter, my daughters have gone off to school and uh, basically they've taken both of my Keen face masks. They've taken one of my outdoor research face masks. My wife who likes these has taken the rest of these. So I needed another face mask. And so I purchased the one from, um, from Mystery Ranch. Now, this face mask is totally different than the other ones. And let me try to take you through what is so different about it. When I first took it out of the package, I don't know, I wasn't very happy with it. <laughs> I mean, this is even before I even put it on. It's got all these stringy things. Um, it's big compared to the other ones. Uh, it's, it's really like, like oversized and it's not just a simple throw it over your ears. So when I'm putting the outdoor research mask on, it's really just, you take the mask, you are done. That's it. It's on. When you go to take it off, it's off. I mean, it really is obviously that simple. If you've been wearing a face mask, you know that, you know, style around your ears, it's, it's on and off. This one here, I hate to say it, I had to read the directions on how to put this on. And it's got this string, which I don't know if the camera will even end up focusing on it, but this, uh, my face is gonna stay in focus. But um, what this is called is TPU. And what TPU stands for is thermoplastic polyurethane 
thermoplastic polyurethane. And so it's not really like an elastic. So most, every other mask I have, it's kind of somewhat of an elastic. This is, I mean, there's a little bit of stretch in it. Um, but there's not much stretch at all. So in order to keep it on your head, you really have to rely on squeezing it tight with a little thing right there. And so that's one thing that's really different. The other thing is, obviously, and this is gonna sound silly, you can see how the hoop, or the, I don't know, whatever you call it, like the TPU, it goes up and over. So on a normal face mask, it's gonna come back like this to go over your ear. And so this goes on your head totally and completely different. What you do is you put the bottom one up and over your neck. Now, the reason why it was made like that, and it makes sense now that I've worn it out in public and I've worn it to work, is that when I go to take the face mask off, so if I'm on my in my room by myself, I flip the face mask off, it's just hanging there right by my neck. Um, the other face masks, you know, they totally come off and you have to put them down somewhere. So this face mask just flips right off and it hangs from your chin. This top piece right here, then comes over your head and it gets tightened. Now, one of the things you're gonna notice, and as my wife calls it, it's got a beak. Can I do this? So if you notice, it sticks out really far. It sticks out really far from your face. So it looks a little bit funny uh, when it's on you, but the reason why it's made like that is because if you're talking a lot, there's a bug I have to get rid of on my leg. Ugh. All right, let's try that. If you're talking a lot, it's just, this is not against your face, which is fantastic. And so for example, yesterday I was at work and I was I was in a room with people and we were going back and forth and back and forth and it didn't bother me at all. And so there's a lot of space between your mouth and the front of the mask. The other thing with this mask that I absolutely love, and I hate it when people, you know, make reviews and it's like, it's the best whatever ever, it's the best sleeping bag, it's the best mask. This really has been my favorite mask out of all of them, simply because I could put it on, and again, since I'm talking a lot at work, I can talk a lot and it doesn't move at all. All my other masks, I end up always adjusting, adjusting, adjusting. The outdoor research mask, you know, in the other video I showed you, I put it on and I like counted to five, and by the time I got to five, the face mask was below my chin. So this face mask, the way that it sits, it sits way below my chin, so my chin actually moves within it. Now again, as people have pointed out on the other reviews, everybody's head size is different. Um, but again, this one's so darn big, I don't think no matter what your head size is, it's gonna go around your chin. The other thing about this one that I thought was fantastic, and even when my wife picked it up, um, the first thing she says is, whoa, it's heavy. And it is, it's heavy. And when I first put it on, I thought it was gonna be really hot and it was warm. But all of a sudden what I realized is again, not just wearing it for five minutes or not just wearing it into a store, but say, you know, wearing it for, I, yesterday was probably the longest I wore it straight through and I probably wore it almost two and a half hours without a, a break, um, you know, with people the whole time, talking the whole time, is that even though it was like warm initially when it, was first put on, it never got hotter, if that makes any sense. Some of the other face masks, after I talk for a while, you can kind of feel the moisture building up inside. So this face mask is made of two different materials, one on the inside, which I can show you. Is that gonna focus? There you go. And then the one on the outside. So the one on the outside is a fabric called Drylex Starlight. And Drylex fabrics are commonly used in shoes. And what they're made for is to draw moisture away from your foot. And so this outside fabric, the Drylex Starlight, what that is for is that what's that what it, that is for on this mask is to um, you know, it provides the toughness, so it's it's very durable, um, and it also provides the ability to dissipate moisture. And I probably should have started inside first. So the fabric that's on the inside, is that gonna focus? There you go. It's called Drylex Drybrel, and this is a non-woven fabric. 
uh, uh, think something like felt. And so you can make fabric without actually weaving it. Uh, you can do it mechanically, you can do it chemically, um, you can do it uh, thermally, thermally? Sure, thermally. And so this inside fabric here, that is made to really draw moisture away quickly. So basically what is happening, and this is just my theory on the fabrics and not from the Mystery Ranch website, is that this inside fabric is wicking your moisture away fast. This outside fabric is spreading it out and then dissipating it into the air. And what's left behind is you're, you're kind of cool inside. Now, again, I was in a building that had, you know, somewhat air conditioned. It's not a cold air conditioned building, um, but I wasn't working outside or anything like that. But when I have worn it, you know, just like today, it's like, I don't know, 90 degrees or whatever. And I was wearing it in and out of stores. I just did not notice that, that heat build up there. So there you go. Um, oh, and it's of course, it's got the little metal thing around the nose there. So, so far, so good. Uh, this is the Mystery Ranch. And I forgot the model. There's two different models of Mystery Ranch. So if you just kind of like look at this picture and you can match it on the website if you are interested in getting one. This might be the Street Mask, I think it's called. I'm not, don't quote me on that one there. Um, but Mystery Ranch, so far so good. Um, definitely my favorite mask and a, a good purchase for me since my kids have taken many of my other masks. And I know that they're not going to take this one since they're not even home anymore. So there you go. Highly recommended. Try it out.